Hello guys, welcome to my morning fitness routine vlog. Um, I'm looking forward to it because uh, I, I made one last year and my routines changed so much and so my editing skills. Yeah, no, I can't wait. I'm quite excited and I hope you guys are too because I think this is one of the parts of my whole page and the lifestyle I have that you guys can really take a lot from. I'll be honest, this routine is not for everyone, but everyone can do it, if that makes sense. It's going to be exciting, I'm not going to say anything now, I'll just let you guys watch and go through as I go through my, my morning. I've just realised i got a bit of a mohawk going on, I look like one of those Mohican dolls. What do you call them, troll dolls or something? Guys, stay tuned and yeah, let me know if you have any questions about, you know, my, my routine in more detail. I hope that you guys can take something from it whether it's the whole routine or parts of it or at least you get some inspiration to take your routine further but yeah catch you guys in a bit right, morning hey guys it's just gone past 4 45 in shape there i don't really wake up now and then get myself ready and yeah get ready for breakfast so yeah i'll see you in a bit All right, Percy, let's go and get breath. All right, so we got matcha. That's not cooking. If you're in an Indian household, nothing is ever what's on the label. <laughs> so that's matcha, so it's literally like the actual green tea leaf. Really good for fat burning. Yeah, it's amazing, especially for abdominal fat. This is like a nut mix, like almonds, walnuts, Sunflower seeds, everything is like grounded up. I have that with my oats. <laughs> yeah, see again, that's not pure Kenya tea. That is whey protein. I bought this different whey, it's called the whey from my protein. And I'll just get the oats. <laughs> the standard oats. And then just coffee, um, just in some coffee. And Yeah, like normally I have breakfast, go on my phone, go on the news, stuff like that. Of course, my phone's videoing now, so I'm gonna have to eat without any company. Oh, cinnamon. There must be some health benefits, but I have it because it tastes amazing with oats. I don't have sugar. So, yeah, definitely, like if you don't normally try, then definitely have it. Also, also, this stuff, this is typical of many Indian households. It's called Charan Brush. It's full of plants. <laughs> That's the best I could say. My mom basically sold on the fact that I will never get ill if I have it. I haven't really got ill to be honest, so it tastes disgusting, I'll be honest. Like, even after like how many years? Ten plus years of having this stuff, it doesn't look great, does it? Yeah. Mm. Interesting taste. Yeah, um, I will eat my breakfast and I'll touch back with you when we start working out. Someone I know suggested I use these wrist supports. Actually, so helpful. Whether you're doing weight training, calisthenics, or any other like body weight related exercise, just keep your wrist stable. And like my wrists are not strong, so they're more susceptible to getting injured basically. I, I use a smartwatch called um, With Things, so it's quite good. Let me show you. Basically, you can like pick what routine you're doing, and I'm doing weights. It just tracks everything from your heart rate, calories, steps. Uh, um, so have a look at it, and it's called with things, what's HR, let's get down and dirty. So 
I'll just show you what I have. It's basically a bench, uh, some weights, dumbbells, a kettlebell, and some distance bands. So okay, you can definitely do a lot with that, and I appreciate a lot of people don't have that stuff. If you have enough space, they're really cheap. Um, all of these things, if you find the right one. I have a different routine every day, Monday to Sunday. But every day I train each muscle group. So legs, triceps, biceps, chest, lats, back. Back is important. <laughs> every day though, the um, constant thing is I'm training my abs, my core. And in addition to that, I'm training, <laughs> I'm actually training to do a handstand and a human flag. So every day I, at the end of my session, I have one workout for each of those stances that I, I practice. The handstand one is a bit dodgy. <laughs> because I don't really have anywhere decent to do it, but yeah. Okay, I basically completed the bulk of my workout, um, which is more the weight based. So I normally finish off with abs. So what I've found, especially if you're training at home, is you'll get to a point where you can do more and more reps of a certain ab exercise. But another way to really strengthen your core and also to build a lot more muscle there is to add uh, resistance through weights. It, it bumps up the level of intensity by a really high amount and also your heart rate increases like crazy yeah more fat burning more muscle growth yeah definitely try like even if you have a pot at home just use a dictionary to be honest so just use anything that will add more weight to your workouts So I'm going to do like this variation of V sit ups, full extension lying down then bringing both my arms which are now weighted and my arms which will be held down by this to the center of my body. This is one example, um, I use it with some of my ab workouts, some you know fine just using your own body weight, but yeah let, let's I'll walk you through it. Try do as many reps as you can. Only for like this particular exercise, I go for 20 reps. It depends on your ability, and just always make sure that you have your form perfected basically before you start pushing yourself and adding more weights. That's one thing I'll tell everyone: form before before weight. I'll get on with my ab workout and then finish off with a few interesting. Now, the final part of my routine in the morning is skipping. So I started this at the beginning of the month. I just want to see, you know, how it actually helps because I've heard a lot of things, fat burning, cardio, endurance, uh, strength, full body strength, um, full body engagement because of that. This is something I do 10 minutes every day. Quite fun though, because you get to sort of try new tricks. But right now I'm just trying to maintain consistency then. After that, developing further skills. I definitely recommend everyone, it's so easy, all you need is some space to skip. The story you're about to hear is true. Only the names have been changed. Only the names.
the last part of my day is just having my whey protein. I, yeah, normally just a scoop, as they tell you. Yeah, of course, I do shower. Um, there's, I've always had this debate about whether it's good to just have a clean cold shower or to mix it up. Start with a warm shower, hot or warm, preferably warm you should, you should do, because that helps with soreness in your muscle and also helps to remove oils from your body, oils that you don't need. But then finish off with a cold shower essentially. So go from like warm, lukewarm to cold. Of course, a cold shower is amazing. It gets your endorphins kicking. So it gets you ready for the day. And that is like, once you get used to it, that's something that's really good for yourself. I always, last year I used to have cold showers where there was the evening and morning. And it's amazing, but it's not always the best thing to do, which is why you should try to do half half. And I normally only have a cold shower if it's after I work out, because really there's not a lot of need for you to do a cold shower if you're not really exercising that much. But yeah, it's always something you can do. Always try doing in the morning, not in the evening. You won't go to bed. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed my morning fitness routine. Like I said, hope you can take some things from it. I've put some links for like the whey protein I use and other uh, items I've mentioned in the description down below. So have a look and yeah, ask me any questions if you if you have any. And yeah, guys, go get it. Thanks.